it's Daisy and today I wanted to go ahead and share a fun haul with you guys. It's things that I've accumulated for the past two and a half to three weeks and I wanted to share it. Um, I have some stuff from Dollar Tree, Target, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and even some uh, face uh, book groups. So I'm pretty excited. I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with um, my Ray Dunn stuff just because I think that is what I'm most excited for. Um, you guys already know that I'm a big dork and you'll see why. Let's start with the first thing. All right, guys. So the first thing that I purchased is this Ray Dunn piece right here. Isn't this so cool? Um, it's really big. I'll show you all of it here in a minute, but I wanted to show you how rustic it is with this metal and the wood, the large letters that says um, inbox and outbox. And this is not mesh. It's actually metal. Um, but yeah, look how big this is. I just love it. It's so cool. Um, and I did get this at... TJ Maxx for $29.99. So it is a little bit pricey, but it's also something that I plan on having for a very, very, very long time in my office. Um, with the help of my husband, I'll go ahead and get it put up and then I will insert the picture for you guys. <music> All right, and next up, I wanted to go ahead and share my absolute favorite Ray Dunn piece of life. You're probably gonna be like, really? Yeah. <laughs> it is this trick treat with orange inside mug. I have said in the past that I am a huge Halloween freak of nature and the fact that I was able to get this, oh my goodness, I can't. I'm so excited, it's not even funny. Um, so this was one of those purchases that I made um, from one of the uh, Facebook groups and I texted her or sent her a messenger message and I said, I have to have that. Please let me know if it's available and I replied, she replied right away and well, hello, I have it. All right. And then um, I did end up getting this hugs and kisses mug and it's red inside and I ended up getting this about a week after the trick-or-treat double-sided mug from the same Facebook group and the same girl even I was so happy um, and Valentine's was just recently and so I just thought this was so perfect and I cannot wait to keep collecting uh, mugs for the seasons and the different holidays because that's what I'm most excited for. And then the last one that I got from her, um, two weeks apart, like I said, is this one. Hello Spring. And this is perfect for this time of the year. And it has one of my favorite colors, yellow inside. This one is not double-sided, but that's okay. And I love how imperfectly perfect it is and how I will get to decorate, um, soon enough. I do want to show you one that I did find myself and it's this Create Ray Dunn mug. Now this is one of the newer ones. Um, I'm going to show you a comparison. So this mug is almost perfectly round or see this one is not even kind of perfectly round. And then look at the handles. This one has a, sh a really small handle. This one has a large handle. Quite honestly, I like this handle better, but I am now creating content on Facebook. And I thought, oh, create, you know, creativity. I had to have it. I absolutely love it. It still has the dimples. So a little bit of that imperfection that I love so much from Marie Dunn. Now she has newer pieces that have like little rivets and then there's the smaller mugs, but I kind of like the older ones better. I'm just really into the style. Um, but yeah, so anyway, this is my newest mug. Now moving forward, I only plan on purchasing mugs that are either seasonal or like a certain holiday um, because I have a lot of mugs already and so I don't want to buy just any basic you know mug anymore I think I'm good with my mugs I'm happy with what I have um, so next up I got this 
excellent bowl. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I got this at Marshall's um, for $5.99 and I cannot wait to decorate for Easter with it. I just think it's so cute and of course it has one of my favorite colors as I mentioned on the inside so I am excited for it. All right guys and for my last redone piece it is this treats canister. I have to give my brother and sister-in-law props for this because they were the ones who were able to track it down for me and they got it at home goods for $9.99 um, and I do keep my puppy's treats in here so yay I'm really excited my first canister now I have to be honest I've ran into quite a few canisters in the past couple weeks but they're the newer ones um, they're completely different they have like little rivets that go down and then the lid doesn't look like this it's like a little circle um, and then they have another one that's straight but it's also got like a different lid I'm not loving it too much they're a little bit shorter and like wider um, so I have seen them, but this is what I love. And so hopefully I can find a couple more in this shape, even if they're older, that's fine with me. All right, guys. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and share with you next is my Grove order, uh, Grove collaborative. I'll always leave the link in the description box below, but you guys know how much I love to clean. And so I stocked up on some stuff and I want to go ahead and share that with you guys. All right, so I got two soaps. One is the Honeysuckle, which is actually the one in current use right now. And then I have the Geranium one. I think that's how you say it, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I hadn't tried this scent and my friend told me that it was really good. So I wanted to go ahead and give that a try. So yeah, I got these two dish soaps. All right, and for that same reason, I wanted to go ahead and try the Miss Myers uh, multi-surface cleaner. I have a good collection of Miss Myers um, multi-surface cleaners, but these scents, you guys, they get me every time, and I want to try this one, so I got it. All right, and next up is my Holy Grail counter cleaner. This is the Method Daily Granite Clean and Polishes Apple Orchard scent, and oh, you guys, it's just, if you haven't tried it, even if you have, um, you know, whether it's granite, stone, um, anything like that, I, I highly recommend it. It smells great. It never leaves streaks. It's perfection. And so I repurchased it because I'm, I'm out of it. All right, guys. And then next up is my Method Daily Wood Cleaner. I love this. I use this on my coffee bar, on my dining table, on my uh, coffee table, and even my fireplace and the rails in my home. Um, for any wood type products, it does such a fabulous job at cleaning and I highly, highly recommend it. All right, guys, and then the last two Grove items that I purchased are the shampoo and conditioner, which are tea tree oil based. Um, they are clean and purify shampoos that are color safe, SLS, SLES um, free, paraben free, and silicone free. It's soap box, which soap equals hope, is what it says. Um, my son has really dry skin and a, a really dry scalp, and he has been using these and absolutely loves them. He has super thick curly hair, and they work wonders for him, so I highly recommend these for you guys. All right guys, so now I'm gonna share my little Target haul with you guys. I love Target and it gets me every time. Okay, since we're on the cleaning bandwagon here, I wanted to share my Method Antibacterial All-Purpose Cleaner in Wildflower. Now I have to admit, I have an obsession for Miss Meyers All-Purpose Cleaners, so I haven't really given Method a try. I love their wood cleaner, I love their counter cleaner, which obviously I just told you guys, but I've never tried their All-Purpose Cleaner. Um, I heard really good things about it, so I purchased one, and I'm gonna give it a go and see if I like it, and if I do, maybe I'll switch it up a little bit. We'll see, stay tuned. I'll let you know what I think once I use it. All right, and also at Target, I purchased B12 vitamins. So I'm no longer young, guys. <laughs> and I was told that this is a great thing to 
purchase for your daily vitamins um, to, it says help support energy and metabolism and your nervous um, system. So I suffer from anxiety, I feel tired all the time, and I figured why not give them a go? We shall see. Um, kind of a silly thing to haul, but you know, if anybody out there experiences what I do, why not? All right, guys, and then I got this hat. Cute, huh? This is actually for my sister. We are going on a cruise next year, and she and I love wearing hats, and so I got her one, and wait till you see mine. <laughs> Beach, please. <laughs> I'm really excited. And I can rock it while I'm at the beach with my sunnies and my magazine and my drink. All right, guys. And next up is this cute ceramic lemon that's cut in half. I love it. Kind of bummed because I only found one. I want to get at least two more and I want them to be like the full size that aren't cut. I have ideas. So in my Ray Dunn haul that I did, um or not haul, the collections video that I did originally, I showed you guys my juicer, and I thought how cute would it be to put a couple of these um, with my juicer, you know, because it says squeeze, and I love it. They did have oranges and limes, but I personally love the lemon because as I've mentioned a few times, one of my favorite colors is yellow, so yeah. All right, and from Target, I also got this beautiful dish cloth that has the lemons and then the stripes yellow and white on this side. And this was $3, um, but you guys, isn't this adorable? <laughs> yes, I'm a big old dork, I love it. And then lastly, what I picked up was this um, home pillow. And this pillow was $5. And I love the font. It's in black and I think it would look great in the basket I have in my fireplace. And the back of it, in case you're curious, is navy blue and white. So this would be cool to use for either, you know, 4th of July or just the summer to have a little bit of that navy color. So I absolutely love it. All right, guys, and we have made it to the last portion of the haul. I went to Dollar Tree. Now at Dollar Tree, I found these beautiful tulips. They're the pin wheels, um, and they're in these fun colors, um, pink, purple, and of course, you know, I had to get the yellow. And I think these will be so fun and whimsical in my backyard. I think I want to do a video showing you guys how I just have like my bench, just a couple different things in the backyard. Give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below if you want to see that. But I just thought these were so cute and they're, you know, totally different. So yeah, I got those. All right. And then I got this um, plant hook. I mean, you've all seen plant hooks in the past. There's nothing too amazing about them. However, I did not get mine for an actual plant. Um, let me show you what I bought it for. And it's this bamboo wind chime. And again, this is another thing that I purchased that I want to put in my backyard. So I'm really, really excited um, to kind of decorate and hang out in my backyard. Um, we just barely put our grass in last October, so we didn't really have a chance to enjoy our yard too much. Um, so this year, I'm really looking forward to it. Let me know if you guys want to see that video. All right, guys, and I also picked up this Daisy Grow Kit. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but I'm really excited to give it a try. I also gave my son two other ones, which were sunflower ones, which he wants to grow his own little section of garden so I'm really excited for he and I to try these and I also got wait for it you guys wait for it are these not the cutest things you've ever seen they come in the cartons and they also come uh, well like in multicolors but I got two of them and check this out
Is this not amazing? Oh my gosh, I am so happy and glad that I purchased two of these. All right, guys, and last but not least, I'm gonna share the three signs that I bought at Dollar Tree. These are brand new and super cute. So this one says, welcome to our patch. I absolutely love it. I think Dollar Tree is stepping up their game and they're doing such a good job with all of these signs. We also have this happy Easter sign and look at the Mr. Bunny here, so cute. I think this is the one I'm gonna use in my son's bathroom or the main bathroom. Um, I like to change up the signs in there just so that it goes with the season or the time of the year, or holidays or whatever. All right guys, and last but certainly not least is this welcome bunny sign. Oh my cuteness, you guys. And look at the little tails are so fluffy and cute. I absolutely love this sign. I'm not exactly sure where they're gonna go, but you know that I'm gonna show you guys. So um, just give me a thumbs up, follow, and let me know that you like this. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Have a beautiful day. Bye.